One of the programs, one of the incredible, incredibly successful programs we have here is a program in citizen science. My, 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 my co-director, Chris Lintot, has set up um, this program where he harnesses the general public to help him analyze data sets in clever ways. And, and kind of the iconic program was Galaxy Zoo, where he had almost half a million people classifying galaxies. Yeah. You can imagine that the techniques that we develop here and, and uh, are applicable more widely, for example, in oceanography, in uh, climate science, as you say, in, in, in the oil industry. Absolutely. I'd like to describe one which I, you know, I, I love, which is, again, it's a citizen science project. Um, and the idea was there are all these ship's logs from ships uh, uh, that were traveling around the world during the First World War. And the people on these ships would, trans would write down, make um, weather measurements, you know, temperature, sea temperature, wind, and they would put them in these ship's logs. You know, terrible handwriting, so the computers aren't very good at transcribing them. Um, Chris Lintot and his team basically set up an online citizen science project where people would transcribe page by page these ship's logs. Now, two very interesting things happen. First of all, you end up with a very detailed map of weather over four, a four-year period, which is, you know, this is, this is gold for, for people working in climate studies and weather and things like that. But the other thing that is interesting is people got very attached to individual ship's logs and began to research the genealogy of the people in the ship's logs and what happened in the people who were on it, the people who went off it. And so there's a whole side of social history came up from this project. So that's a very good example which climate, social history and, you know, our, our, our cosmologists working on it.